Something that I think about a lot when I hear these fantastic discussions of the intersectionality of oppression and the way that our movement can learn lessons from and mirror uh, the successful movements behind us. Uh, and I try to put that in perspective of today rather than just look at it from a historical point of view. Something I think about a lot is the concept of allyship and the fact that, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, you know, that they need people, you know, uh, of racial privilege to be white allies, that feminist movement needs males to be male allies, that the, you know, LGBT movement needs straight people to be straight allies. And in that sense, our movement is quite pioneering because every one of us is an animal ally. Um, <laughs> Uh, none of us is a non-human animal. Uh, I mean, none of us that paid to come here, at least. I guess some of us brought me human animals. Uh, but seriously, none of us is a non-human animal, and every one of us, therefore, chose to voluntarily give up our power and privilege over oppressed beings. Uh, the animals couldn't force us to do it. We chose to ourselves. And that's something that a lot of movements are seeking right now, is people of power and privilege to say, you don't have to take this power from me because I'm willing to give it up because I don't deserve it, and I know it's hurting you. And that's something that every single person in this room has already done. And it's hard, right? We see violence every single day. We see violence in our Facebook feeds and our social media feeds against humans of less privilege than many of us have. And we see violence against animals, all of whom have less privilege than, than we do. And it's difficult, tiresome work to combat it, but it's also beautiful work uh, to combat it. And I'm so excited to share the next few days uh, with all of you as we learn how to do that work even better. It's such a tough balance in so many ways to know the way, the, the unify versus argue kind of, kind of balance. I, I think that on one hand, obviously, it's so important that we, that we recognize our differences and talk about them in an atmosphere of mutual respect, but it's also so much more important that we don't let those tear us apart, right? And that's, I think, really what we're, what we're getting at here. And that's why this conference exists, to say, hey, we don't have to all think that the exact same paths are the same, but we can't be jerks to each other about it, right? We are so relatively few compared to the outside world, and you know we need to make sure that, that we're stronger together.